What's going on everybody? It's Ben Johnson here and welcome to your third Windows 8 development tutorial. Now in the last tutorial I showed you actually how to drag and drop a label onto our canvas and run your own Windows 8 application. In this tutorial we're going to extend that hello theme I guess you could call it and we're going to make an application that says hello to the user and this is quite simple as it sounds so let's get started by going to the start menu and opening up the Visual Studios Express application. So we're going to load that up and we're going to create a new project. We can either do this in the start page or as I mentioned in the last tutorial, file new project. So I'm just going to use the start page this time and we want to select the Visual C Sharp template group and again we're going to use that blank application. So this will give us a blank application um, that we can work with. So I'm going to call this hello app like so and it's going to give me an error because it already exists so I'm going to go browse and just delete that app which I don't want and I'll just click OK. Alright so once your project's loaded you'll be given all this application code we don't need to worry about that for the moment and we need to actually open up our app page, which is our main page.xaml. And you can find this in the solution explorer to the right, top right. And we're going to double click that to open it as our main file that we're editing in the main content area. Alright, so once it's loaded, I really don't like this split view we've got happening here. So I'm just going to minimize this so we don't have that happening. Alright, so we've got a canvas and we need some controls for our application. The first of which is a text box and this object is used for the uh, user to import some text into our application. So we're going to drag that across there and give it some nice room here. I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller like so. Now I'm going to drag over a button for the user to submit their name. So I'm just going to drag that over here, just about there. That would be good. And I'm going to drag two text blocks, which of course is normally called labels. One to label the text box we've got here. And another to actually display um, the hello message to the user. So I'm going to drag that just about there. Alright, so we've got our elements, but they're not perfect. Um, we don't want them to say text block, and we also need to change some things in the properties inspector. So I'm going to start by clicking the first text block we've got here as our label for our text box. And down in the properties area to the right, I'm going to change some of the attributes here. So the first of which is the text. So I'm going to type in name appropriate name and in the text category I'm going to bump up the font size to about I don't know 20 yeah that should be good and I'm just going to reposition this and I'm really not liking those snap lines there but anyway um, oh, I really hate those snap lines uh, but anyway I'm a perfectionist I can't help it and I'm going to go to back to my text block and when you're making applications uh, using Visual C Sharp you need to give your objects a name and like anything we give our um, friends everything has a name we as humans always have a name um, something that people refer to us as and the same goes with animals such as pets and that sort of thing so we always give them a name so when we're talking to them uh, and we're directing messages to them uh, we know what to refer to say my name is Ben so we say hey Ben how are you um, and that's how we refer to um, different people and we direct messages to different entities and the same goes with programming we have to give our objects a name so we, our application knows who we're talking to when we're actually programming our application so I'm going to go over to the properties inspector and in the name attribute we're going to 
it says no name for the moment, and we need to give this a name. So we're not going to call it something like Fred or Jack or anything like that, because we want something that we know, um, we understand and we can refer back to. Um, so we're going to call this name label. As simple as that. Press enter to submit that. And let's go over and change some properties of our text box. I'm going to start by giving a name of uh, name text box. And this is different from the name label because this is a text box. And in the text attribute, I'm just going to leave that as blank. Alright, so we've got those elements set up. Let's go on to our button. In the name attribute, I'm going to call this submit button. Like so. And in the content attribute, I'm just going to type in submit. So it's going to say submit, and as you can see there. Alright, so we've got those elements set up. We need to finish off with our hello message label. So I'm going to call this hello message message label like so. And I'm going to change the text from text block to nothing because we don't want to be displaying anything in the text block. It's all related to code. Um, so next we want to bring our font size up to about uh, 48 and that should do us. Alright, so we've got all our objects elements set up to the way we want them. So let's go and start writing some code. So with our elements, uh, Visual C Sharp works in events and events means that if something happens to our object, say for example our submit button is clicked, um, it's going to execute some code and this is the way um, this programming language works. So what I'm going to do to actually create that code that executes when that button is clicked, we need to double click it and we also can access some other events through the um, event inspector like so, but we don't need to worry about that for the moment. So all we need to do to actually do something when that button is clicked is to double click it. So we're going to double click it and this will bring us into the main page.xaml code.css and the .css extension is just basically um, a code file, a C sharp code file. And we already see that we've already got this code, we've got all this code here, um, some code here and here and here. But what we don't need to worry about all that jibber jabber for the moment. All we need to worry about is this private void and it says submit button clicked. And this basically means that it responds to the event of our submit button. Remember we gave it a name of submit button and the event of click. And we don't need to worry about all this other stuff for the moment. So inside the curly braces, these are the curly braces right here. Inside those, uh, we need to write our code for this submit button click event. And this is only one line of code we need to actually write, so we're going to keep it simple for today. So what we want is our actual hello message label to change text. And again, if you can remember, we actually gave that a name. So we need to refer to that. So I'm going to type in hello message label and that's our label for displaying our message. So remember that dot text and all these are actually properties and methods and that sort of thing. Don't worry about methods but as you can remember in the main page dot XML we can access our properties through the properties inspector and you can access all the properties like this one here inside the code so you don't always have to set your objects up in the visual way with the properties inspector you can do it through your code and that's what we're going to be doing here today we're going to be changing the text property but we're going to be doing it through code so we're going to go hello message label dot text 
So we're going to refer to the text property of our hello message label and it's spinning out errors which is not good. So text with a capital, remember that C sharp is actually um, case sensitive. Then we're going to set that equal to, so we use an equal sign. Alright, so here's where the complicated bits start. We're going to start by opening a double quotation mark, just like you'd be quoting someone in an essay, a report, or whatever you're writing. Um, you use quotes when you're actually quoting someone, and we do this in programming. We use these quotation marks to define a piece of text that we want to display and that sort of thing, so it won't get confused between which is text and which is actual code and statements. So, inside these double quotation marks, we want to type hello, space, comma, space. And we can type anything. We can type uh, cheers, um, or we can type, you know, whatever, good day, good day, or whatever you want to type. Um, it doesn't really matter what goes between those double quotation marks. So I'm going to just leave it as hello, comma, space. Alright, so next we want to append the user's name, which we're going to get in our little text box here. So the user's going to type their name in there, and they're going to hit submit. Um, by the user typing in this text box, they're actually changing the text property here. So we need to go back to our code, and we need to actually refer to our text box. So to add some text to this already originating text, to add quotation marks, because we can't just go, um, I forget what I called it, that's bad, but anyway, we can, we just can't go name box, name text box dot text, because that's just text, right? It's just in between these quotation marks, and that's why we use them. It's just text. It's not actually code or anything like that. So to append our text to that text, we need to add the plus sign, and then we need to refer to our object, which of course is this um, name, textbox dot text, and we're accessing the text property of our name text box. Alright, so that's our line of code, and with every statement in C Sharp, we need to end it with a semicolon. So we're going to end that off with a semicolon, and you can notice that we have no errors, it's all correct, and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and see what this one line of code does for our program. So we're going to go ahead and click the play button up the top to run our application, and it'll go ahead and build it for us. So up the top here, we've got our name label here, we've got our name text box here, we've got a submit button here, and we've got somewhere in here our hello message label down the bottom here. So I'm going to type my name, so I'm going to type Ben Johnson, like so, and I'm going to click submit. And as you can see, it says hello Ben Johnson. I could type in uh, Cindy Jackson, no offense to those people currently on the, the East Coast, I think it is, of America with their hurricane. Um, and it will say, hello, Sandy Jackson. So, you can type anything in here um, you'd like. So, you can say 007, and it will go, hello, 007. You can type anything in that text box um, that you can use on your keyboard, and it will say hello to that. So that's basically it for today's tutorial. I know it was long, and I hope you understood what I was talking about, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.